So how did we design our system? We designed it with four things designed to do one thing, discourage litigation. Our system was fundamentally built to discourage litigation. That's it. it they understood that litigation was the tool that the lawyers could use to corrupt the system. So how did we do it? First, we didn't allow contingent fees. No contingent fees. Why would we not want contingent fees for an attorney? Why would we not want contingent fees for you guys? You get paid more if your patient gets better. Would that work? How about CPAs? They get paid more if they save you more on taxes. Would that work? No, it's going to corrupt their system because then what are they going to do? They're going to cheat on your taxes for you to get a bigger fee. It won't work. They're forbidden. And lawyers are exactly the same. Our job was to be in the middle to provide an even keel, a level head to advise clients about something that was so complicated that you needed an intermediary to uh, interpret it for you. That's the lawyer's job. The lawyer's job was not to take on the client, become a partner, and use the system to extort money. That was not the role of the lawyer. So why in the world would you need a lawyer to accept a contingent fee? It made no sense. Number two, no advertising. Lawyers were forbidden from advertising. Why? Well, why would you need to advertise? You're only there for when the problem arises. You're not supposed to stir up the problem. Stirring up the problem was exactly the abuse that the framers of our legal system wanted to protect against. So no advertising. Number three, lawyers had a really, really strict set of ethical guidelines. In fact, ambulance chasing, which literally was driving behind the ambulance with your business card, was punishable by disbarment and prison. You go to jail. You lose your license, you go to jail. It's very strict. You could not bring a frivolous lawsuit. And the entire, the fourth pillar was the rules of civil procedure themselves. The rules of civil procedure made it very difficult to bring a lawsuit. You had to state the nature of your claim very specifically. You had to say exactly what the issue was, exactly what you're suing for, and you had to know what, you ha what, what was already wrong. So let's look at these, because something happened. Something happened around 1950s. There was kind of a change, 60s. A new feeling came into this country, and lawyers all of a sudden started acting a little bit more like corporations a little bit more like business people, decided, hey, I, I need to improve my bottom line, which in and of itself is not a problem. However, when you control the system that controls your bottom line, because that's the same thing the insurance companies said, right? And the hospitals, they said, oh, we want to improve our bottom line. How are we going to do that? Well, let's just change the rules. Because in the case of the legal system, improving the bottom line meant more lawsuits. More lawyers, more work. We needed to do more work. Well, we can't. We can't sue. We can't accept contingent fees. We can't even advertise. We have these ethical rules making it very difficult. And even when we do, the civil procedures kick us out right away. So what do you do when you control the system? Change it. So what happened? Contingent fees. They went state by state. 1964 was the last state. Maine change the rule to allow lawyers to accept a contingent fee. That's great. All right, now we're on the same page. Two, advertising. 1977, Supreme Court heard a case called Bates versus the Arizona Republic. And they decided, oh, these poor lawyers, th they should be able to advertise like everybody else. They need business just as much as everybody else. It's not fair. But even the Supreme Court understood how dangerous that was. And they specifically told all of the states, hey, we're going to say yes to the advertising, but you're going to have to keep a check on your lawyers. It can only be the name of the law firm, the, the general practice area that they're in, and uh, maybe a list of uh, general fees, nothing else. No inflammatory recreation of scenes, uh, no testimonies, nothing that stirs up litigation. So how well did they do at that? <laughs> Anybody watch Judge Judy in the afternoon? Who, 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 who's advertising? 
I mean, I live in uh, Miami Beach, and uh, the billboards, they say stuff like, did you get sick on the cruise ship? <laughs> Call me. There's even one lawyer, and he's also a Florida lawyer, who's advertised, did you have a heart attack in public? Call me. Do you know what they're implying with that? They're saying if you had a heart attack here, right now in this room, and the Grand Walea did not have sufficient response, they could be held responsible for your heart attack. Does that make any sense? That's our legal system. And it had nothing to do with the 300 cheeseburgers you had in the last year? That's exactly right. It had nothing to do with the 300 cheeseburgers, the fact that you've never seen a gym. <laughs> it's, it's all of a sudden the last person who's sitting there. It's, it's whoever's standing when the music stops. So, number three, the ethical rules. This is interesting. The ethical rules for lawyers were, were strict. We had three sections to the ethical rules. We had the ethical rule. Then we had an ethical canon, which actually explained the rule and gave a whole bunch of examples. Because the more specificity, the more clear I can be. So if I tell you, hey, no dogs in this room, well, what if somebody needs to bring in the seeing eye dog? If I make an exception, okay, no dogs, but seeing eye dogs are okay. What about the police dogs? Okay, well, no police dogs, uh, no dogs, but seeing eye dogs and police dogs, they're okay. So the more complicated the rule, the more clear it can be. Now, you're dealing with lawyers. Do you want a really clear rule that gave a lot of examples so there wasn't a lot of wiggle room? Or do you want a really simple rule? Clear, yeah, you want a clear rule. And the ethical rules up until 1983 were exceedingly clear. Three sections, the rule, the canon with all the examples, and then notes that actually told you what that all meant. And you know what those rules said? No frivolous lawsuits. You can't bring them. We're not about that. Well, that was really putting a stymie in the lawyer's plans, and so what'd they do? They changed the rules. So in 1983, we came out with a streamlined version of the rules. You know what the streamlined version did? It took literally pages of rules and condensed it down to one sentence. And then fourth, <clears throat> the rules of civil procedure and the court attitudes and the whole <coughs> entire uh, zeitgeist of the legal system has changed from 40 years ago when uh, lawsuits were really seen as a pariah, as something that really was not good for our system, to today they're encouraged. The average time of a lawsuit has gone from well under a year to over four years to get through a lawsuit. So the entire system has just fundamentally changed. So where does that leave you? Thank you.